Welcome to AI Paper Review. Today, we're going to talk about MetaLama, a state-of-the-art foundational large language model. Now you might be wondering, with models like GPT-3 already having 175 billion parameters, why do we need Llama with a maximum of 65 billion parameters? Well, full research access to large language models has been limited due to the resources required to train and run them. Llama is a smaller, more performant model, which means that it requires less computing power and resources to use. This makes it more accessible to researchers who don't have access to large amounts of infrastructure, democratizing access in this important and fast-changing field. With Llama model and hundreds of dollars training costs, researchers were able to launch chatbots like Stanford Alpaca, Vicuna 13B, etc. Moving on to the method. Llama is based on the transformer architecture and leverages various improvements that were subsequently proposed. To train the model, the authors chose text from the 20 languages with the most speakers, focusing on those with Latin and Cyrillic alphabets. The training dataset is a mixture of several sources that cover a diverse set of domains, containing roughly 1.4 trillion tokens after tokenization. Notice that the authors only use data that is publicly available and compatible with open sourcing. Llama's performance was evaluated on a variety of benchmarks to assess its performance on different language understanding tasks. Interestingly, Llama 13 b outperforms GPT-3 while being more than 10 times smaller and Llama 65B is competitive with Chinchilla 70B and Palm 540B. Like other large language models, Llama shares challenges such as risks of bias, toxic comments, and hallucinations. By releasing the model under a non-commercial license and granting access on a case-by-case -case basis to researchers, the authors hope to inspire further research towards responsible AI practices. In summary, Llama is an important contribution to the field of natural language processing, enabling researchers to fine-tune the model for specific tasks and making large language models more accessible to researchers. We hope you found this review helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI paper reviews.